After seeing rainy weather enter the picture last night and stick around tonight, we are clearing out now and we'll continue to have dry conditions then going into the morning. So the rain that we just had dropped about a tenth of an inch, if that, and now it's out of the picture. You look at exact track radar more to regional view. It's all because of that low pressure that came in last night. Uh, last night's cold front drove the rain in and then we've had showers kind of wrapping around behind this weather system affecting us today. Now it's just all about the cooler air slowly filling in as the rest this week goes along, so rain is mostly out of the picture. I'll explain why or we're not fully dry just yet. And then looking at that warmer air leaving with the rain shower activity. So once we get into the weekend itself, it is going to feel a little cooler, but thankfully we're not down to frigid conditions just yet. So for the rest of the night, uh, we're looking at rain getting out, mainly cloudy temperatures in the upper 40s. And then for tomorrow, uh, cloudy to start, mainly sunny by the afternoon. Temperatures staying right at about 62. 61 degrees like we saw today, so uh, the colder air really not affecting us just yet. Temperatures kind of hold steady for a little while, and by the afternoon should feel pretty pleasant as we see that sunshine returning. Then into tomorrow night, keep an eye out for this. This is why we're not fully dry just yet. There could be some scattered sprinkles that come through late Friday evening. They'll stick around into early Friday night, as you'll see here on future track. That all should be out by early Saturday, so we may have uh, kind of a repeat of the situation where we'll start out just a little cloudy for the start of the weekend, then turn back to sunny. Temperatures up to near 60 degrees, but we're falling just short as that cooler air starts to filter in. We'll definitely notice it by Sunday. Could have some frost at the start of the day than the mid 50s by the middle of the day. But again, if we get lots of sunshine. That's something to definitely look forward to. As we uh, then get out and about and enjoy the sunshine, the leaves themselves about a week or so away from getting to peak color, but we're getting close. We're about a week or so behind because the weather has stayed not ideal for getting that fall color to really accelerate through our area. So I uh, expect that again, peak fall color soon, but we haven't had a ton of cool nights and dry days recently. So the leaves are still making some food. They haven't fully changed over yet. Overall though, still a good recipe for perfect fall colors. We're keeping the freeze away as well as the wind away. Haven't had too much of that so far this fall, but we just need those cool nights and those dry days. We start to get some of them again as of this weekend with lots of sunshine. Next week, slight chances for rain early. Then we warm up near 70 Tuesday before we drop again with soaking rainfall Wednesday and Thursday. And your most accurate 10 day forecast maybe in a free fall late next week. Yes, the 40s could be creeping in for highs in that long range outlook. In the meantime, Time four degree guarantee just off the bullseye, but that means cash total up to 78. <laughs>